about the abs, but I do need to make a disclaimer. And I try to make this disclaimer a lot. You can do all the crunches in the world. You could do sit-ups every single day. You could do 137 sit-ups twice a day, every day, but you will not have a six-pack abs. Not one. <laughs> the reason why is because nutrition is everything. So please make sure that you're referring to your meal plan. Please make sure that you're actually following it, okay? Follow every single step of the way, eating every single meal so that you can get the results that you want from this program, okay? Because all the crunches won't do it by themselves. Gotta fuel that body with what a body needs, okay? So today is all about the crunches, all about the abs. We have 30 second timing, no equipment. We're just gonna be down on the floor the whole time. So. <laughs> We are gonna be starting with a C crunch at the bell. Fingers at temples, and remember, every time we do abdominal work, we want our backs completely flat onto the mat, okay? The entire back. You wanna be able to feel the whole thing down on the mat. So a C crunch is just like a normal crunch, but we're adding the legs. In a traditional crunch, you're just only working those upper abs. So these are fun, because we're working the entire core. And that's our focus for today's workout. Your gaze is coming between those knees and up to the ceiling. Nice, going right into the next one. It's called a reverse crunch. Bring those hands under you. You're just gonna tuck up and down. Tuck up and down. So just like you do like a normal crunch, tuck up and down. You're doing the same thing, but with your legs. Don't kick me, okay, Marissa? Okay. <laughs> nice, up and down. Tail up, two, and one. Roll it over, we have a plank hold. So get there, get there, get there. <laughs> Very nice. Shoulders are in line with the elbows, hands come together in fists. Feet are hip distance apart, your back is long and flat. Let me just breathe, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> we forget, <laughs> we forget. Don't forget today. <laughs> nice. We are coming back to our backs. These are called side to side crunches. So we're gonna take our crunches up, kind of like you're drawing, or like your back is in a bowl. Just kind of rotating up, side to side. Up and up. Now remember again, if your neck is feeling any fatigue or any strain, just slide one hand underneath to support that head. Very nice. Leg raises, hands come under. We're gonna drop those feet down, almost to the floor, and then back up. But again, you wanna make sure that your back stays flat onto the mat. So, go down as far as you can without raising your back off the mat, and then back up. The second we feel that back lifting, you're letting go of your abs, okay? And that doesn't make any sense <laughs> if you're letting them go during ab work. Bicycles. Now we're gonna be doing slow bicycles, okay? So again, fingers at temples or one hand under your head. And I want you to visualize more like a cricket, okay? <laughs> Just nice, long movements, okay? Getting the full extension of the abs. Getting the shoulder blade up off the floor. And I want you to aim for like the opposite shoulder to the opposite knee, not just reaching elbows, okay? Get that shoulder up. And time. We have a one minute rest, then we have two more rounds. Perfect, two more rounds. So, stretch and come back.
Coming back onto the floor and at the bell, we're gonna go right into our second round. Nice C crunches, all the way up and all the way down. All the way up and all the way down. Very nice. Exhale every single time you get those, get that crunch in. Because remember, every time you exhale, it's like an extra crunch, like a bonus crunch. Especially if you exhale audibly, okay? So, nice. Reverse crunch, same idea. Just remember, keeping those bums up, tucking it coming down. And it's the same with that breathing, okay? And then you'll start to notice that you feel an extra contraction once you start doing that kind of breathing. And you might even feel a little bit more power. Very nice. Plank hold, roll it over. You're with someone, give them a high five. Nice. <laughs> now I'm feeling balanced, another high five. Nice. <laughs> if you have kids, these are really fun. Just be like, have them sit on your back. <laughs> They're my kids, I always try and sit on your back. It's the best. <laughs> Double the workout. Nice, side to side crunches. Remember like your back is in a bowl. Just nice round movements up and up. Looking good. How are you feeling, Marissa? So good. Nice, you should feel your abs at this point. They should be a little toasty. Good one. <laughs> Leg raises coming down. Something else that you can do to build up that endurance, if you need to, you can come down bend the knees and bring it up, okay? It's actually bringing them back up. That's the hard part of this exercise. Okay, I mean, they're both hard, but if you wanted to drop down, bend the knees, bring them back up, that will help build that endurance until you can do a full leg raise. Very nice. Last one, bicycles. I mean, nice, long legs. Back is nice and flat. Again, nice, loud, long, audible breaths. Almost there. <laughs> Two and one, nice. We have one more round. So go ahead and stretch it out for a second. Drink up and come right back. We have one more round to go. So at the bell, let's get to it. See crunch, bring it up, bring it down. Very nice. Again, if you have that hand under your head, please make sure that you're not just lifting your neck, okay? We need to get that full range of motion by lifting those shoulder blades up off the floor, getting that full crunch, breathing, keeping your back nice and flat. Very nice, reverse crunch. Up. Exhale. Nice. 
exhale loud. Very nice. Couple more. And one. Nice. Hands come to temples. Side. Oh, I lied. Roll it over. Plank time. <laughs> it was a test and you passed. So <laughs> if you need, don't forget, you can always drop to those knees. Just come on up. And if you're feeling any pain in your back, come up to a high plank right here. And that way it just removes the pain from your back. Keeps it in the plank, keep those abs nice and tight. Very nice. Now we're going into the side to side crunches. I'm so proud of you for passing that test. Surprise. Nice. Nice round motion. And time. Leg raises. So remember, you can totally try the modification of bending the knees to come back up. Straight down, bend the knees, come back up. Or you can just exhale your way back up. And one, nice. Last one, bicycles. I like to ride my bicycle. No. And in grasshopper style. No, is that how it goes? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nice, couple more. Last 10 seconds, push. Nice, grab that leg, roll it up. Bring it onto your tummy. Option one, coming down to the forearms, pushing up. Level two, planting the hands and just coming up nice and slow. That's good. That was a nice, phenomenal, abdominal <laughs> workout. <laughs> nice, bring it back to a child's pose. Release that back for a second. You can take a second, take one hand over the other one, stretch it out, and bring it on up when you're ready. Great job today. Don't forget to check into that meal plan. Really, really check it out. If you haven't been following it, I mean, it's day 10, so let's get to it. <laughs> I will see you next time.